Gribos, and welcome back to downloadable content. And what's that sound? It sounds like it must be Monday because it's Mod, Mod Showcase, Showcase Monday. Monday. This week, we're actually taking a look at 10 of the best spell mods for the current update of Blade and Sorcery. You're not going to want to miss it. And remember... If you're not already subscribed to downloadable content, now is a great time to do so. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. Hashtag 100K by Christmas. So let's see if we can smash this goal. <laughs> so without further ado, coming to my home. First up is Merges Spells Up by Nishka. It takes all the vanilla game base spells and gives this awesome merge that you can use in one hand each. And you could also merge them for new powers. Going into my spell wheel, I'm going to get a bunch of new stuff. So it's lightning, fire, and gravity. So I have lightning merge up, I have gravity merge up, and then there's also the fire merge up. So with fire merge up first, I can cast and hold it and just throw a one-handed meteor, which is fantastic. And if I merge both of them just like this, well, bad things happen to my graphics card. Just take a look at this. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye card. Then there's the one-handed gravity merge, which will make objects around you levitate. It's a little hard to see, but the cool part is when you merge it. Cast them both together, merge the gravity, and now you have a nice bubble that you could actually shoot. And it is extremely powerful. And then my favorite is the lightning one. So this is the one-handed blast. It shoots you backwards, but you can also hold the stick forward so you don't get shot back. I think there's a way to customize it, but I haven't figured it out. And you can also fly with it also, which is pretty cool, right? Boom! But the really sick part is when you merge it. Take a look at this. It casts lightning up and down from the heavens. I absolutely love it. Fantastic spell mod. Moving right along, we have Meteor Fall by Genix. This is a super powerful spell. It looks awesome and does some devastating effects. Meteor Fall is absolutely fantastic. It also has its own custom animation too, so you can feel like Frieza. Just press and hold the trigger, give the old nice wind up, and cast it like you would throw a fireball. Woo! And now watch to the heavens as a meteor comes down to obliterate them. Oh my goodness, and it burns their souls. It's an absolute fantastic mod. It's so overpowered, but honestly, I, I'm so happy to have something like this one. It unfortunately doesn't work that well in dungeons because of like the, the, the kill plane, but it's a fantastic mod just to have in its own right. Up next is Death Beam by Genix. Straight out of Dragon Ball Z, this enables you to channel your inner Frieza and shoot laser beams through people. It's fantastic. Death Beam is honestly one of my absolute favorite mods. It's simple, but it's fantastic. So this one, you actually hold grip first to enable it, and you get the nice little one finger thing. And if you just press the trigger, you fire a nice laser beam, kind of where the finger's pointed. It's kind of hard to do it on its side like this because it makes it go sideways. So I would I recommend aiming like this one, down the barrel that way. That way, you're going you're gonna to miss. You could also press and hold the spell use button while doing the grip, then do trigger to shoot an explosive variant of this one. And I think it is so cool. I feel like I'm blowing up the map, you know? And of course, you could really feel like Frieza. Get wrecked. Moving on, we have the Domino spell by Linica. This enables you to select multiple people that are, well, going to meet their untimely doom. It is easy to use and it looks great. The Domino spell is like a great multi-use thing, so let's try this out. So I'm going to cast Domino on these poor, pathetic souls, and it matters of the order of operation. So we'll do this man to this man to this man. And now you're going to see like this little like, whoa thing. Hey, why didn't you link to him? Link to him. Don't be special. There we go. So now they're linked. Like, so if he dies, he dies, he dies. And you'll see the little thing over their head that says like, Hey, this person's gonna die first. And it tells you the order of operations. Hey, can I borrow your sword? Thanks. So now whatever damage befalls this doofus, same thing happens to them. See how they all felt that one? Look, they're all bleeding now, which I think is really cool. So, uh, arm stab, and then throat slash. All right, well, let's finish these guys off. No point letting them suffer. We got a whole showcase ahead of us. <laughs> well, see? Look at them all being suffering. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I said don't suffer. Don't suffer? Uh, there we go. 
Up next is Zendatsu by Genix. This is an overlooked spell, but I use it literally in every single video. It enables you to cast Zendatsu once and fire and forget, and now, well, you can really chop down the competition. Zendatsu has this little rune on it, and you can customize it to your liking, and it is a spell, and that's why I'm showing it to you. So what you do is you have it, and you just press the trigger, and you can see a blue hint. Now, if you haven't customized, you're gonna see blue the entire time, I recommend turning all that stuff off. And you can do so using Huge Honor's mod configurator. You go down to Zendatsu, and look, you can say no spell, no slow-mo, no blue tent. You could just turn all these things on and off, which is great. And now what you can do using an amazing blade is go into slow motion and aim for like the waist. And you could cut pathetic fools in half. Zendatsu is a fantastic mod. If you don't already have it, you absolutely need it. Moving on, we have the Destructo Disc by Genix. Yes, another Genix mod. What a surprise. He's a fantastic human being. And this one, well, channel your inner Krillin to cut things up. Ah, the Destructo Disc. This thing is immaculate. It looks fantastic. And when you throw it at things, it does a nice little cut. Like you feel like you actually really kind of like cut things. Wah! But of course, if you throw it at one of your friends, well, bad things will befall him. See, I aimed for his arm there, and he lost his arm. And, well, now I'll aim for the legs. Oh, boy. Destructo Disc. But now that I've showed you Zendatsu, let's combine Destructo Disc with Zendatsu, and these are the results. Oh, man. You're going to have yourself a good time with Destructo Disc. Moving on, we have Lashing by Linica. This is an all-purpose spell. It's built for combat, it's built for play, it's built for creativity. The Lashing spell is gonna make you do high crimes and misdemeanors, I promise you. What I could do with this one is, let's say I can even point at his little stupid weapon there and just like, you don't get the weapon, bye, and just rip it out of his hands. If I also hold the grip first, then the trigger, I can use like Spider-Man powers and be like, yoink. So you can really do some Spider-Man stuff. Like, like I said, I can go around the map with this one. I can just, you know, multi-tool. You can also tap the spell button and switch it to like this like glue mode and put like lashing glue everywhere, which is really fun. But what I really like to do is cause some mayhem with this. Look at what I've done here. I've trapped this man. And like I said, you could do some real high crimes and misdemeanors. Look at this ladder, it thinks it's better than me. Well, you stupid wood ladder, I took the liberty of making my own energy ladder. Yeah, that's right. Lashing can be made to build whatever you want. I could build a whole level out of lashing stuff. It'll take a while, but I promise you, you could do it. Oh man, how am I gonna get to my boat? I can build my own bridge to the boat here. Look at me, I'm an architect. So if you don't already have Lashing, you need it. Up next is Arcfist by Rune Oracle. This one overhauls the actual lightning in the game and gives you, well, more of a melee option. Arcfist gives more to the normal lightning. So if you're just gonna cast it with a trigger, that's normal lightning. Pretty cool, right? But if you hold the grip, then the trigger, well, look at what you have now an arc fist so this one you can send a lightning whip at someone and just do some horrible things to them oh yes you are suffering i think it's really cool switch between electrocuting someone to just immediately going ah arc fist you can feel like a super powerful battle mage it's really cool our penultimate entry on this week's mod showcase monday is Exploding Fireballs by Genix. Now, this is more of just an enhancement to a fireball. It is, well, it's an enhancement to the fireball. Basically, you do exploding fireballs that also burn people. Exploding Fireballs gives more to the normal fire spell. So this is the normal looking fireball, right? You're just like, oh man, people always live through my fireballs. Well, not any longer because this one explodes. <laughs> and it burns them, and the fire effect is funny. It's very comical, but look how good that is. <laughs> Prepare to burn! And it does damage over time. The only downside, though, if you're using other things that, you know, use a fire as a projectile, like this spell here, well, it makes them explode also. I love it, though. It makes me feel like I can do, like, little key blasts. Ha ha! 
Our final spell mod on this week's Mod Showcase Monday is one that's technically not a spell. It's called Neck Snapping by Rave Lizard. And why is it on this list? Because you can snap their neck with using telekinesis and it's amazing. Now, the final spell is Neck Snap. And you're wondering, Neck Snap doesn't feel like a spell because going like this, that didn't feel like a spell. Well, let me show you how it can be a spell. So using the mod configurator, we can set up a bunch of things. So having always on telekinesis is great. And I set my force choke speed up to 60 and my neck break required. So what that means is I could be over here and use the grip at his neck. And he's like, oh my God, how are you doing this to me? And now while holding the grip, trigger and spell button, I just go like this, neck snap. So easy to do. So if you want to be Darth Vader, be Darth Vader. If you just want to feel like a super powerful guy, you can with neck snapping. Well, my friends, that is it for this week's Mod Showcase Monday. I hope you had a ton of fun. More importantly, I hope you download these mods. They're all linked in the description. And remember, if you're new to downloadable content, now is the best time to subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. So I'm counting on you. But other than that, thank you so much for stopping by. I am Rob from Downloadable Content, and I will see you in the next video.